The House of Representatives has once again invited all the service chiefs and Minister of Police Affairs for refusing to honor an invitation to explain why terrorists had a field day during the Kuje attack. The committee said that the investigation will help unravel why the attack was successful despite the presence of a high number of security personnel and the need to put measures in place to forestall future occurrences. Recall that the Kuje Correctional Center was attacked by suspected terrorists on the 5th of July 2022, leaving one security personnel dead, many injured, and as many as 888 prisoners escaping, leaving in its trail massive destruction of the facility by the armed terrorists. In a swift reaction, the House of Representatives directed a joint security committee of the House to investigate the incident with a view to determining the immediate and remote cause of the incident. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Shah Aban Sharada, highlighted the necessity of the investigative hearing while describing the attacks as an embarrassment to the country, which raises doubt about the efficiency of the nation's security apparatus. By way of refreshing our memories on the incident that took place on that fateful day, a total of about 888 inmates, including about 64 terror suspects, escaped. A grave concern is that the attack, which lasted for several hours, did not record any formidable resistance from security personnel deployed to the facility. The Minister of the Interior also gave details of the incident, but was quick to remind the committee that the general state of security in the country calls for serious concern. Personnel stationed in, in Kuji to protect the facility on the day of the invasion where 31 military personnel of the Nigerian Army, five personnel of Mopu 21, five personnel of Mopu 50, Two personnel of counter terrorism unit of the Nigeria Police, two personnel of Kuji Police Division, seven personnel of Nigeria Immigration Service, three personnel of Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, ten personnel of Correctional Arms Corps. These 65 people. Like they are for specific responsibility of resisting and preventing any attack. And they were all armed. Earlier, the committee had frowned at the non appearance of the service chiefs despite a series of invitations to them. The earlier decision to summon the service chiefs was, however, rescinded as an invitation for them to appear before the committee has now been fixed for the 8th of September. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.